Hi there, I'm Natasha Antonioni with Austin Life, and today I am taking you on a property tour. Let me give you a little bit of background here. This house was a friend and client's house, and they were thinking to sell it. They wanted to go travel the world. And so I brought a buyer. This is a really unique property, and it's built by the same builder that built the 100-acre Blanco Ranch tour. So you have to check out that video. What this builder does beautifully is he, he has these sculptures on his property, and he did them here. Here's another one down here. He also likes to go for that super pop of color. If you remembered in the Blanco tour, he had that bright yellow. He builds unique, modern, beautiful masterpieces. You have to see the staircase in here. So I bring a buyer to the property and she says, oh my gosh, this is gonna be my Austin house when I'm here, but my Airbnb house. I'm gonna Airbnb this house. So I go back to my clients and I'm like, oh, she's so excited. She wants to Airbnb the house and they're like, excuse me, great idea. What should we do to make it an Airbnb? So we walked through the house, I gave them some pointers, and now they are living abroad in San Miguel, Mexico, and they're coming back once in a while to their home that is now making money for them and giving them some freedom in their life. So come on and check it out. They just had the blue refinished today. Wow, isn't it amazing? Here she is. Hello, beautiful house. Hello, beautiful house. We're here. So what we talked about was um, extending this wall with a double barn door opening. So imagine a six foot wide opening here with a three foot panel, right? So when the three foot panel comes over, it'll just come, it'll live right here. So it won't affect any of that. We needed more bedrooms in this house because we only had the two bedrooms, one up and one down. And if you remember, this was all open. There were no doors here. When we were talking about the resale of this home, I had mentioned that this would be a good idea to turn into a bedroom for the resale because a 3,500 square foot house with two bedrooms is a little bit of a tricky sell. So they put two beds in here. One of their photographer friends took this photo and they printed it on metal because they love it. And obviously this space is beautiful. They took this opportunity to change out some of the art. It was beautiful before, but they love these metal prints. So they did a couple more photography pieces out here as well. And we have a video coming out on intentional art selection. So this would be a wonderful example of that. So stay tuned for that video. They come back home and when they come home, even though it's a short term rental property for them, they still want to love it. So they chose these pieces because they make them happy, basically places that they've been in the past. Let's go check out the upstairs. Look at this spectacular stairwell feels like the Guggenheim, but a square. <laughs> they wanted to create a little bit of privacy for the guests that stay here, and they didn't want to kill the light, so they added these glass windows so that you can still see down, maintain the light in here, but get a little bit of privacy. You see how this wall is all the way open to here? Mm -hmm. So what we talked about was extending this wall. If you had the wall coming here and then you, again, you did the double barn door and then it just dead ended here. They added these barn doors, these beautiful steel and glass barn doors so that the guests, when they're staying here, they can close themselves off. Dario designed this. He did? Yes. Oh, like a million no. years ago. No way. It was a DVD rack. No way. Yes! That's so cool. Isn't that hilarious? Yeah. So let's go check out the bottom level, which was just one bedroom, and now it is two. So there was a motorcycle here before, and if you see that Blanco property, you'll see that that motorcycle is over there now. So he says that the Triumph stays with the house. I would like to confirm that. <laughs> They did such a smart thing with this space and turned it into a hang space. You can kind of imagine that maybe the grown-ups would be upstairs and the kiddos would be down here, so they have their own kind of living room space. And so the wall can literally just go down the center of the space. 
and then you have an entrance on both sides, and both sides have a closet. So that's enough room for a bed, like a big bed here. Correct. Yeah. And there's a window, of course, yes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, and then you have this little nook, so the wall just goes straight into here, and then you have, you can just do built-in shelving. It seemed like a scary decision at the time because the bedroom didn't feel that big, but this is a queen size bed and I think it feels perfectly fine in here. And they added a closet. There was an indent over here where you would put like a sculpture or something like that. And they turned that into two small closets. And the genius behind that is that if they ever wanna sell this house, it's no longer a 3,500 square foot two bedroom. It's now a four bedroom home. What we had talked about was extending this deck. How far out are you envisioning the deck going? Maybe 10 feet. And yeah. then down below, you could turn that into a magical space yes. down there. They added a water feature, which is essential when you have Airbnb, especially in Texas. Yes. Amazing. So they added this whole beautiful deck area and obviously the nice pops of color. You kind of feel like you're perched in the trees up here. So we have over here the black and white bedroom is what it's called. And as you can see, it loops around to the deck as well. All right, so let's go hear from Marcel and David how their new short-term rental lifestyle is going. This house is so magical because every window you look out, you're looking at trees. I mean, it's amazing. You have loved living here, right? Yeah. So how is the new Airbnb lifestyle? Fabulous. Where are you living right now? We're living in San Miguel de Allende, Mexico. And we take half our profit from the house to pay for San Miguel and the other half we pay bills with. Amazing. <laughs> Freedom. Yeah. When I come back here, this still feels like my home. I'm very at home here. Yeah. And as you mentioned, I, I love the art that we've chosen. I love photographs, I love big photographs, and yeah. finally I got the big enough ones I like. <laughs> Many of the suggestions she made, I wasn't real receptive to in the beginning because I was very wedded to the way it was. The changes have been fantastic and dramatic, and I actually like the house with the changes better than I did like it before. If you like this video, or if you'd like to rent our house on Airbnb, <laughs> <laughs> give us a thumbs up. Natasha has videos coming out every Tuesday, and they're fantastic. See you later. Bye. That red one has ended up in the neighbor's backyard before. <laughs> What do you mean? Like he, the neighbor stole it? The, the, no, it rolls down the hill. 